Uh, this is Brandon. It is Friday, March 26th. A couple of trades to show you today. Um, I traded SQ, which I don't trade very often. And I think I'm going to maybe steer clear of this or, or definitely think twice before I trade this, this stock again. This thing moves. Um, the uh, level from the pre-market plan of attack, there was it was actually a couple of levels. There was uh, this um, 212, 212.16, <clears throat> so right in this area. And there was also a level way higher up at 221.74. But I traded the 212, um, the 212.16 level, and I didn't actually start trading it until this area. Um, and I was kind of looking for a, uh, a potential double top. So really I was trading kind of this level um, here at uh, almost 213. Man, this thing really, really uh, gave me, uh, uh, <laughs> it really went against me. And um, the premium on these options, these were the uh, 212.50, um, puts expiring today and you can see I paid up pretty dearly for these uh, options and they really melted down I mean let's just look at this um, my first buys were you know two dollars and then I bought another one for 150 a couple for dollar fifteen a couple for two a dollar thirteen um, <clears throat> And then finally, I, I, I hit it, uh, this last trade, I hit it for three more just to round it out to an even 10 <clears throat> contracts. Uh, that was at 9.29. So right here. Um, and had to take a little bit more heat. Um, I got those last ads at 83 cents. This sucker dropped all the way down to 69, 68 cents. So just massive meltdown. I think I was red to the tune of um, 500, more than 500 bucks on just on 10 contracts. So that was uh, that was kind of a nightmare. Um, and uh, but I, I I had a my thesis was um, not only related to SQ, but basically um, I was looking for a top on the spy as well. Um, and I was looking for the market to sell off a little bit here um, just because it's just chop and this week has been big red, you know, so um, I just didn't didn't see uh, the broad market just rallying all day. Of course, it could have and I would have gotten out with a big fat loss. <clears throat> but thankfully, it turned around um, and then I was admittedly, I was pretty quick to exit this trade. Um, basically started pulling profit uh, as soon as I could. Uh, my average price was around a dollar twenty something, maybe a dollar twenty-five or so. I can't remember exactly. Um, so you can see I started exiting uh, the position as soon as I could pull a little bit of profit. I just this this just sucked. I didn't like this at all. So um, so I got the hell out um, and uh, had ten contracts. So uh, I was down to seven at that point at 949. Um, so it was it was down here dropping, uh, getting close to the VWAP. So that's basically when I was um, starting to close the position. But honestly, it didn't have much to do with the actual price action. It had a lot more to do with my P and L on the trade, and just didn't like this position much. It was all pretty pretty uncomfortable. So. Um, took three off at a dollar thirty. Took three more off at dollar thirty-five at nine fifty. Um, so right in here, <clears throat> took two more off for a a dollar forty-one and a dollar fifty at uh, nine fifty-two, which was right here, right as it was touching the VWAP basically. Um, took another one off for a dollar eighty at nine fifty-five. So down here, so it was it was reapproaching that um, that two twelve sixteen level. 
So, um, I mean, the strategy would have been, I would have been um, better if I had, you know, added on like a ton over here instead of just three. Maybe if I'd added on like 10, um, it would have been so much easier to pull profits and, and um, I wouldn't even, you know, I would have been really big green on this by the time it came back to, to my level. But anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. I, I was profitable on this trade, um, uh, $154. Um, so down to four, down to two. Yeah, and I was out of the position completely flat. Um, right when it came back to 959, it came back to my level. Um, so it started to bounce here and this was I think this was yesterday's high so it's like it broke through this level which should have been resistance and now now the uh, resistance becomes support that was the concept that I was thinking about um, so when we started to get a little bit of a bounce I said nope I'm done with this trade and I'm just gonna get out take whatever remaining profit I can and that was it so yeah 154 on that trade um, as far as AMD, actually, let me back out again. <clears throat> so AMD, I basically was trading. I missed this trade. We did have a level at 75.82, um, which is not this level. But 75.82 was basically like the pre-market low. Um, so that was our level from the pre-market plan of attack. And I was not quick enough. Um, to actually enter this trade right here long um, and actually I started to trade this uh, this downtrend this trend formation um, so there was a downtrend here lower low lower low lower high um, so I traded this lower high here um, with five contracts and that was the 77 puts um, so I grabbed five contracts um, and I think, yeah, I, I only sold like one, I think. Uh, let's see here. 8.38, so right there. And then, yeah, 8.39. So I did sell, I did sell a couple at, at 8.39, um, but that was it and I, I didn't take advantage of this drop right here Let, let's just zoom in on us and make it easier um, so I bought the five contracts there I, I took profit on two of them 98 cents and a dollar eight um, but then I didn't take advantage of this I, I think I did have a limit order actually at like a dollar eighteen or something I don't remember exactly um, but it obviously didn't fill me here and so I was trying to get out uh, at this drop right here. This looks really good. Nice red candle right there. Um, but, you know, then it bounced. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, and I rebought the two contracts at, uh, that I had exited. And then it kept going higher. And so then I was kind of basically trading this um, yesterday's high. Um, so I bought five at I like I really like Fridays because there's really um, there's a very small amount of time premium in the options um, and so you can I can get a, a pretty large position going which is always nice if it if it uh, if it has a good reaction to your your level so um, but anyway so I bought Five more at 8.47, right here, into yesterday's high. Um, bought five more at 8.51. Um, 8.51 in two seconds. So it was just just after this close here, uh, 8.51, um, and then <clears throat> we got this nice uh, this nice bearish candle. And it started dropping. So great. So I had, um, let's see, I had five. Then I was down to three, back to five. I had 15 contracts at this point. So took five off, took five off, took one off. 
so down to four contracts at that point, took another one off down to three contracts um, all through here. So 8.57, uh, 9 o'clock, 9.01. So um, right here, down into the 50 EMA, right here into the VWAP, and right here on this nice red candle, took another one off. Um, so what I say, 15 down to five, four, three. So only three contracts at that point, and only two contracts at that point. Um, this was 9.23. Oh, dude. So right here, kind of at, at these lows, 9.23. So I think I was down to um, just one contract there. And then we started coming up and, and getting into the um, pre-market highs, like I showed you at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> so pre-market highs right in this area, 77.21. I actually had 77.24 marked on my chart, but same difference. Um, so I basically reinitiated the trade, um, this time with um, some more size. And I still have two contracts on this, but let's see what we did here. So bought five at <clears throat> Nine thirty-four. So here on this big green candle, right into that seventy-seven twenty-four level. Um, again, pre-market highs. Bought three more at nine thirty-five. Right there, the next candle, and then I hit it with twenty at nine thirty-nine. So right there <clears throat> right there um, so you notice that was uh, right around that level I was watching the 7724 um, just hit it with size because these contracts were 32 cents right so why not um, why not get a bunch of them since they're so cheap so and it's you know at least for the next 20 30 minutes it's not gonna melt down like if this is <clears throat> excuse me if this had continued higher yeah, it would have dropped from 32 cents, but um, it wouldn't have dropped much. You can see even it went a little bit higher here, and I think the low was, um, you know, 28 cents. So that's four cents uh, of heat that you're taking. Uh, it's four bucks per contract. So even with uh, even with 20 contracts, that's only eighty dollars of heat that you're taking on the position. This is why I like Fridays. Um, so then anyway, we got this nice, nice drop. I'm not sure what, what if there was news or whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I just noticed that AMD started dropping, so I started paying myself on this trade. Um, I had a total of 30 contracts at that point, um, so I started taking them off in fives. Uh, 949, right here, right back to the, uh, excuse me, right here to the 50 EMA. Um, 9.50, you know, the next candle in and around the 50 EMA. Um, this was actually two trades here. So at 9.52 and 10 seconds, 9.52 and 28 seconds uh, right here. So basically getting really close and, and touching that VWAP. Um, took five and five. So 30, 25, 20. 10. So down to 10 contracts at that point. <clears throat> I took two more at 9.55. So right here, breaking below the VWAP. <clears throat> took two more at 9.57. So right here on this red candle, 
I didn't like the fact that uh, there was kind of an uptrend going here and there was that nice bounce right there. Um, so it sort of looked like, you know, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, um, you know, here comes a higher low, right? So I sized down some more um, due to that. And uh, thankfully it kept going down a bit more. So uh, I was down to five contracts or maybe six contracts at that point. So I started taking them off one at a time. So I took another one off at 10.01. Um, so kind of a fresh, a fresh low right here and also sort of a trend line. You can see that trend line right there. Um, so 10.01 took another off. 10.10 uh, really didn't like this bounce. Um, so at 10.10, basically kind of like a little potential double bottom here, took another one off. Um, this was a nice exit. I wish I'd just take, took, taken the rest off there. Um, that was 10.30. So right here, I just kind of realized, hey, this is right right at these um, these matching lows here. Might as well take another one off. And I think that was my last exit. I'm still holding two contracts. Yeah. So still holding a small position on AMD. I um, I will you know either let it stop me out at break even or if we get uh, some some strong selling into the close I really would like the uh, the lower level from the pre-market plan of attack which on AMD uh, this morning is 75.82 so that would be great that would be kind of my ultimate target for these last two contracts um, on the trade <clears throat> On the trade, I'm currently up $725 um, with $45 of that being um, unrealized. So I've locked in almost almost $700 on that trade um, and just waiting to see what happens with these last two contracts. Um, so yeah, sorry about this. Uh, the length of this video. It's pretty long, 17 and a half minutes at this point. But yeah. Um, those were the trades for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see. Oh, obviously, join us at Trick Trades. This is uh, an amazing strategy. Um, and if you want to sign up for Trick Trades, you can use a coupon code of TT20. I think it still works. And it it's going to save you 20% off your first month of guidance membership. So highly, highly recommend joining us at Trick Trades. It's definitely the place to learn how to day trade and, and, and do this kind of trading. So, um, all right, have a great weekend.